Hello and welcome to Start Select. Today's Wednesday, so happy hump day to you all. Coming up on today's show, PlayStation Vita gets February release date and price, Need for Speed The Run gets famous actors, and Minecraft scrolls its way to victory. First up, PlayStation Vita's got a release date. The new console will be launching in the US, Europe and Australia on February 22nd. That's two months after the console hits in Japan, but still it's only just over four months away from now. To save me reading off prices for every region in every configuration, check out the numbers while I tell you facts about the day February 22nd. It was the day in 1997 that Scottish scientists announced that an adult sheep named Dolly had been successfully cloned. It was also the day in 1964 when Ed Boon, the co-creator of the Mortal Kombat fighting game series, was born. And sadly, it was also the day in 1987 when the artist, director and writer Andy Warhol died. There's still a lot we don't know about the Vita launch at this stage. We don't know what software it will launch with, who will be the 3G provider or how much the data plans will cost. Still, are we excited? You Vita believe it. <sighs> Next up, remember Vin Diesel as the spectacularly successful lead character in Wheelman? Well, another racing game this year is doing its best to keep the Hollywood elite supplied with Louis Vuitton handbags and tiny dogs, as Need for Speed The Run has announced Christina Hendricks and Sean Farris as its stars. In the game's story mode, yes, Need for Speed has a story mode, we're as amused as you are, Vampire Diaries' Sean Farris stars as Jack Rourke, a man with a mob bounty on his head who's racing from San Francisco to New York to bag the $25 million prize. Mad Men's Christina Hendricks, meanwhile, plays a manager to the game's outlaw racers. Both actors have provided their likenesses, voices and sexy sculpted bodies for mocap to the game, which is due out in November. In what seems like day 10,000 of Minecraft Watch, developer Mojang has been awarded an interim injunction in its legal dispute with Bethesda over the use of the word scrolls in video games. Translated into English, it means that Bethesda can no longer stop Mojang from using the word scrolls in its games. Thank f for that. We never meant to infringe on anything Bethesda does, and this means we didn't, said studio founder Marcus Person, more commonly known as Notch by Twitter. Still, the cheeky Swede couldn't help but stick the boot in, posting that no matter how this plays out, we should still do that Quake game, referring to his earlier challenge to settle the legal matters over a round of id shooter. Now that that story's over, at least for now, there's a huge legal shaped hole for Start Select to fill, so can somebody please sue someone else quick? Finally, Naughty Dog has announced that Uncharted 3 will be getting something called the Fortune Hunters Club, a program that will allow you to download DLC for the game at a reduced price. The pack includes the first four multiplayer map packs, the first three multiplayer skin packs, and a background theme, because well, who doesn't love a good background theme? We recently chatted to the makers of the game about DLC and teased them about the possibility of a new zombie mode. The zombie modes. <laughs> <laughs> I will say there are no zombie modes. <laughs> um, and oh, we do have something. Although that's not true. We do have. Uh, well, they're not zombies. They're not zombies, but there is a, a, a cool feature to co-op. I'll say that. So not a zombie mode, but kind of like a zombie mode. What do you think it could be? Let us know in the comments. All right, that's it. I'm going to go and run some more Christina Hendricks Google image searches for research purposes. Keep it real, homies. Well, another racing game is doing its best to keep the Hollywood elite in swimming pools and tiny little dogs. <laughs> Not physically in tiny dogs. What's hot with Hollywood at the moment? Like, what, what's the thing? Like, an iPhone or like, do they... Because they all, all, they all have little dogs, don't they? We don't want to suggest that Christina Hendricks and the other guy have a, have a dog fetish.